Hello, everyone. This is Amy Wenslow with the latest episode of the Product Business Podcast. This is some Startup Sunday inspiration and thoughts. So I am here taking a little bit of time with family, and I really wanted to talk with you a little bit about what we have in the last chapter of the new book that we just put out, Turn Products into Profits, so that you understand what it is to refresh yourself, keep in momentum, and push through the part where you might feel burnt out or tired or less than inspired, right? Because as you're working to expand your business or to start it, um, you can feel really inspired and passionate and excited and you're working it and you've got your team going and you're all in and you're working, especially sometimes on Sundays when you're in startup mode, right? You're in this, let's push through, let's keep going because you've got your day job during the week. But it can get to the point where you move a little bit into frustration or overwhelm or fatigue, right? There is a very, very nuanced thing for you to pay attention to, and that is the distinction between are you using that energy or a thought of frustration and overwhelm and, oh, I'm too tired, as an excuse? Are you using it as a way to procrastinate? Or is it legitimate and does your spirit need a refresh, right? So we've been working very intently to finish the book and to complete client projects. We have our product mastermind. We've got packaging that we're working on. There's a lot going on. And we are switching over marketing systems. We're doing all these things, right? There's a lot of pieces that are moving. At the same time, there are relationships that are important and near and dear to my heart that I want to um, have them grow and expand as well right? So how do you balance those, right? That's, that's the purpose of today. How do we balance that? Number one, (laughs) read the last chapter of the book, because it actually gives you some concrete things you can do. And I'll give you a couple additional ones here. When we were completing the book, and it needed a first reader, right? It needed the first person to give feedback, give some edits. I asked my mother-in-law, Peggy, to do that for me, because She's an amazing woman. She's an avid reader, a retired school teacher. She's detail-oriented. And it was really also a way to include her in the process and, and something that we were really excited about. So it was a way to use her skill set and her strengths and include her and have something that need to happen go on anyway, right? So you want to actually look for, are there things that different people in your life would be excited to do or would be interested to do or great at, right? And involve them. Now, you want to involve the people that are actually your cheerleaders and get them enrolled and excited about cheering you on, right? And I think that that's a really important distinction, especially if you're in startup mode, because after all, like I said, this is startup Sunday, right? And you always want to look to leverage your team and the people around you where is it's appropriate, where it serves you, and where they're going to be supportive, okay? And the other things I would say about this is watch your energy with them. Number one, don't get pulled off course if they don't respond the way you think it should have gone. And then on top of that, be willing to be gracious with everybody, yourself included, have some compassion. You're probably doing a bunch of things you've never done before. And it's important to mark the milestones. And by milestones, I mean the daily accomplishments of things that you moved towards your goal that you moved forward, right? When we were writing this book, for me, it was, oh, we got the first draft done. Oh, the edits are done. Oh, the book art is is getting work done. Oh, the photo came in. All of those pieces, those are all milestones. And pay attention. If you are continually iterating and continually making changes and tweaking, and you don't actually do what Seth Godin talks about, is shipping your product, meaning get it out in the world, make the listing live, put the book page up, all of those things, 
then really all your other preparation doesn't matter, right? So you have to get good at declaring the product finished and shipping, right? Shipping, get it up, put it live, get the feedback. And this is something that you might want to shrink from, but you need to put it out there. You need to do it so that you have the rewards and the benefit and the upside and the expansion of your business that you're really looking to have. So it's a critical skill for you to keep yourself refreshed, keep yourself in the game. If you notice that you've swung to frustration, overwhelm, upset, um, exhaustion, take a little bit of a pause, but keep the vision alive of where you're going so that you come back to it reinvigorated and excited. And that is the thing that pulls you forward. There are more concrete examples inside the book. You can get a digital free copy of that for a limited time only at turnproductsintoprofits.com. That's turn, T-U-R-N, products, P-R-O-D-U-C-T-S, into, I-N-T-O, profits, P-R-O-F-I-T-S.com. So turn products into profits. It's what you are designed to do. It's the life that you are aspiring to and deserve to live. And if you are already selling, it is truly the next part of the game for you is to increase the profits that you're making. With that, everyone, this is Amy Wenslow signing off with Startup Sunday. (coughs) Excuse me, we will be back with the live show tomorrow, Monday. Check the um, description of the show below to get links to all the resources we have for you.